hello welcome to ss unitech so sil decide and in this video we are going to see how we can load the data from the json file with the nested hierarchy to the csv file so what is the json with the nested hierarchy first we need to check about this and after that we will see how we can load that into the csv file so let me go into the source file so we can see the data for sales so here we are having the data for the sales as we can see the soid then the sales order date then the country after that we are having this nested hierarchy of the json so this is one of the json and it is having the data for the item quantity and value so this is one of the json which is inside the whole json so for example here we are having soid so date country and under the sales item quantity and value so in the csv file we will be having six column with the soid so date country item quantity and value we will not be going to keep the information like we are having here so how we can convert this we will see in this video let me go into the browser and we'll try to implement this in practical so this file is already available in the input blob storage and with the name of sales.json as we can see here let me go into the azure data factory and we'll try to implement this in practical so let me try to add a new data flow here so this data flow let me call this data flow as load from json to csv now first we need to add the source so let me try to create a new data set here so click on new as your blob storage click on continue and the file which is the json file so we can select the json file here and click on continue and here let me call this as data set for the sales underscore json format link service we have already created so let me use the same then we need to select the file so let me try to browse this go to the input folder and after that we can select the file which is the sales.json file let me click on ok here everything is ok we can click on ok so this data set will be created so as we can see everything looks ok let me go into the source option and under the source option if you can scroll in the bottom side then we can see the json setting so if we open this then document form which is the document per line but it is array of document because we have the nested json under that file now let me go and try to check the data so we will be going to see the data so as we can see the soid so date and country is coming correct but under the sales here if we can click then we can see total three of the sales so it is having the item quantity and value similarly for the second third so all these are having data like this so as of now this data is the complex type of an array so we need to convert this as an string data type so how we can do that as we have already discussed about the flatten transformation so we have to use the flatten transformation to convert this array into the string values so here we need to select the enroll by so under the enroll by we have to select the sales as we are having this sales column into the source so we can select this after that here we can see the enroll root so here we can also select the sales so by which we want to unroll this so let me try to go in the bottom side and here we can see this sales is mapped with the sales so we don't want to map sales with the sales so how we can add the item quantity and value so once we click on this sales then it is having the item so we can select the item let me add another mapping and that mapping will be for quantity so here we can select the quantity similarly let me add another mapping so this mapping will be for value so everything is coming from the sales table so as we can see so let me try to rename this column as item so now we will be going to have the value for the soid so date country item quantity and value 
this item quantity and value is coming from the sales so let me go into the data preview and try to refresh so we will see the data here so it should be having six column with the item quantity value soid so date and a country so here as we could see soid so date country item quantity and value so now it is having the data as per expected now let me try to add the sync here so under the sync we will be going to add the data into the output folder of the blob storage so for that let me try to create a new data set azure blob storage and we want to keep the data into the delimited text file so we can select click on continue after that here we need to select the link service then we need to browse and here let me go into the output folder and select that first row as header so we can select this checkbox let me click on ok so delimited text one data set will be created for the destination here if we can go into the setting then we can see the option the file name so we want to keep into the single file so we have to specify the name so that is for the sales underscore json dot csv something like this we need to set the single partition and now we can save this so it will be going to saved in between let me try to add a new pipeline and under this pipeline as we can see this is saved so we can drag and drop this and we'll be going to execute so once it will be executed your json file will be loaded into the csv file in the output folder of the blob storage so this is in progress so let me try to refresh it so as we can see it got executed successfully let me go into the azure blob storage and go to the output folder of this so here we can go into this container of the output folder and here we should see the file so we can check sales underscore json dot csv file so this is the file if we can go into the edit then we can see the data here so everything is coming as expected so thank you so much for watching this video in the next video we will be going to convert the csv file that we have generated in this video into the json with the nested hierarchy so we will do the reverse what we have done in this video see you in the next video